Hi, my name's Irrelevant, and today on the show, deleted scenes from an upcoming video I'm working on where I attempt to resurrect an old Windows 98 machine. Hilarity ensued, and I found the footage amusing enough that maybe fellow enthusiasts might find it entertaining or nostalgic. All right, we're over here at the uh, test bench. Now, I've got the typical skeletonized attachments here. We should be ready to turn this on. Now, let's see if I can find the correct uh, little position here for power and... Oh, we have fan spin, but that's about it. We have fan spin, but no post. Oh, that's no good, bud. What's the problem? Am I getting an error code beep? The little un petite speaker. We got a click out of the speaker. Oh, we got beep. Okay, weird glitch. As you can see, we do now have post. Searching from boot record from floppy. Surely you jester, we have no floppy in this machine. Reset, hammer that delete. Just hammer on that delete, yes sir. All right, what are we seeing here? Standard setup, February 8th, 2002. I'm gonna guess that 2002 might be uh, part and parcel of the era that this thing was made, even though it can go back into the past. And it tops out at 2099. Well, you've seen it here first, folks. Unfortunately, we can't expect much longer than an 80 year service life out of this thing. Oh boy, well that's money wasted. In all seriousness, let's give some 2020 action here. It's the third of oct right now. No floppy drive. There's no menus that come up when you press uh, enter. You basically have to use plus and minus. First boot device. This is gonna have to be set to SCSI because of the uh, interface that I'm using. Smart, sure. Uh, Numlock on, yes. Chipset feature, look at all this stuff. AGP mode, P aperture size. Oh yes, PCI, make sure we set it to plug and play aware. Integrated peripherals. Enhanced Atapi performance. That's for uh, CD drives. Hey, sure. Onboard IDE. We're gonna disable those because we're not using them. Onboard FDZ, disabled. Serial port, not gonna use it. Serial port, not gonna use it. Parallel port, not gonna use it. Modem? This thing has a modem? Oh, there might be a jumper set on here that connects some sort of modem connection. I don't see one. Hardware monitor. Current CPTU temp, 38C. Wow, that's good. ID auto detection. Oh, that's back in the day when a hard drive didn't automatically work and you had to go and detect the hard drives. It would work. I forgot all about that. Save and exit setup, yes. Now, chances are this battery's probably dead, so should we, we should replace it so that we don't have, a, have to go through that whole rigmarole again. Oof, it's my last one. All right, so let's turn this meat uh, and off and let's hammer in some of this other hardware that we have to work with. I want to make sure it's all going to work, right? All right, so what do we have to work with here? Oh, the serial ATA controller. Let's slop that in there. Oh, uh, we got a network card. How close are we going to jam all these things? USB 2.0 and uh, sound card. This is all the uh, hardware we know that we want to put in there. And look at this full house. We just don't do it like this uh, anymore, do we? Yeah, that's, that's old school. When you used to have a computer crammed with interface. Got a nice cute blue SATA cable here. Let's plug that on. Some SATA power. Yeah, I say SATA, not SATA. I used to say SCSI is skissy, skissy. I'm pretty much self-taught with computers. Nobody taught me how to pronounce these things before. Let's jam that on there. Is it still gonna work now with all this? Uh, let's, uh, yeah, where's that, that power switch is hiding now? Oh, we're not getting beep. Okay, are we gonna have to fool around? I had to press reset last time before it decided it wanted to work. Well, this is some good old fashioned right here. This happens. I wonder if this has something to do with those popped caps or if it's just a case all this hardware in here is glitching it out. Sometimes if you just reseat the video card, could be dust on the ports. So let's give this all a wiggle. Sometimes you run into the situation where um, not everything works on whatever ports you want to put them on. You kind of have to uh, shuffle stuff around a bit, but this is as ergonomic as this is going to get. Oh, it automatically turned on here. Oh, now we have beep. Sometimes you just have to fiddle with it. F run to run setup. I thought I already went through that process. Huh, 
I changed out the battery and bio still reset. Okay, that's new. I wonder if it's a situation where the, um, the act of it not posting a, a register to crash, like how some modern systems reset their BIOS when they detect a crash. I guess that's possible. Now what? Check system health. Maybe it knows that its capacitors are bad. Ho 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 ho. Windows protection error. You need to restart your computer. That's different. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I cheated and had Windows kind of booted earlier. Why would that happen? Is it one of those stupid Windows features where it detects new hardware and it's like, nope, can't use this now. Yes, I'm aware that the system's all screwed up. Oh, oh great. Windows doesn't like my USB keyboard, so I can't do anything here. I'm gonna have to get the PS2 out. Now it's working. Okay, now it's booting. Mind you, we got this far before. Oh, no, looks like we're better off this time. Unknown device. Oh, <laughs> weird. That's probably because of all the stuff that I jammed in there, right? Okay. Um, nope. Up. I, I gotta do this with all hotkeys. Yes, you know you have that driver. Oh god, what is this now? You're literally booting from it. <laughs> but as long as we can get it running for these testing purposes of this video, that's all we really need from it. Now we're jammed here. I don't know what to think of that. Wow. Well, this is gonna be quite the adventure. Scan disk, because Windows was not properly shut down. Oh, this plot's thickening right up. If you haven't noticed, I've been shifting the camera and lighting around all over the place. Doing uh, videos from this perspective is new to me, so I'm trying to figure out what works best. So far, this thing's just been dragging arse, not making a whole heck of a lot of uh, headway here. It's hung up again. Oh, no signal. Again, it wants to go into safe mode. No, just boot. Checking windows for errors again. We're running in circles. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, stuck at that prompt again. All right, we need to backpedal this because we know where this is going. That's just gonna bleep out on us. Let's um, pull some of this hardware out. Maybe it's getting super confused. And we'll switch this support. We'll keep it simple. Video card, SATA card. Simple. Automatic startup on power loss. Are we gonna get a beep or do I have to hit reset? We got a beep. I didn't have to press reset. Still with the system health. You know what? I remember that prompt from before. So I think yeah, this has always been a little wonky. Oh yeah, let me guess. You wanna do a scan of the hard drive again? Yeah? Okay. It looks like we were just having a hardware issue here. Maybe one of those other interface cards dead. 2.4G keyboard mouse. Oh, it recognizes wireless mice. And then we just have to go through this uh, weird situation over and over again because it has the drivers. Code error unknown. I guess it can't work a USB mouse. That's hilarious. Maybe I am gonna have to put a disc in here at some point and see if I can... Oh, where would my Windows 98 disc even be? I know it exists. Oh, it's trying to do the mouse again. Search for drivers recommended. Okay, it found it, human interface device. Still wants a disk. Copy files from, uh, give me, uh, give me browse. Um, Windows, where would they keep that back then? System 32, drivers, there it is. Not very smart, old Windows is not very smart. It has it, but it can't put two and two together. It doesn't scan its own freaking. This is uh, quite the process. USB keyboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, you're asking for a disc again. Okay, let's do this again. Browse. Oh, oh, it's not showing up this time. Oh, maybe it's in the old system. Oh, there it is, it's in the old system. Well, it's a good thing I know my way around Windows, right? Oh, oh, it wants another file. We're gonna have to keep doing this. Okay, this one probably needs to, uh, Go back to system 32 drive. Oh, it's not there this time. Okay, where are you hiding? Oops. Oh, wow. Okay, we um, we got something here and it said it had installed mouse drivers, so the system's not crashed. So we got a hot key through this. Oh God, that's no good. All right. Let's kick it old school. Oh. And of course it's not gonna work because you have to restart. 
Now, is there something wrong with this card? Because these guys got banged around a little bit. This card still looks perfectly healthy. Okay, now we have our PS2 mouse gone. Okay, well, whatever that is, it's not working until later. And I believe that's just has to do with the USB. Oh, wait, something's happening when I'm clicking the USB keyboard. But it seems that the drivers are all screwed up. Let's not use that then. Huh, printer port doesn't work. Well, that's novel. Okay, so this is this is online now, and it looks like I have some um, video games installed. Now, let's see if I can get... Um, actually, does this thing have audio through the HDMI port? That would be handy, wouldn't it? No audio is coming up. Or oh, wait, sounds. Nope. Oh, it knows there's supposed to be this guy here. Okay. We're going to shut down. Now we're gonna stick the other two important pieces in. One being the sound card, the other being a network card. I guess we can live without USB 2.0, even though maybe that's what I had all my stuff plugged into. Oh no. Well, you know what? Let's start one at a time. Let's see if we can get the sound online first. Allow me to introduce you to my special friend, the sound disc. Oh yeah, a five and a quarter sound speaker thinger. That sounds wonderful. Sounds great, actually. Sorry, I'm making humming noises. All right, let's test these sounds. We have sound. That's progress. All right, let's try putting in the network card. We'll put it on this side. Oh, wow. The heat coming off the sound card. At least it boots pretty fast once it's running. I think this is related to the um, sound card, actually. PCI, Ethernet controller. Okay, it knows that exists. A little hangy. Uh-oh. This does not bolt well, sir. Oh, that's fine. Restart it. Ooh, this guy's ROS compliant. It's new enough, it might be dead. Now it's hanging. What is this? The following error occurred. Trying to get... Oh, it's trying to attach a network drive? Why would it do that? Well, it's not the worst network it could happen. No, screw that connection. Oh, <gasps> I I'll take your word for it. All right, one last card to try. Progress so far. So, USB, we'll slop her in here now, and let's see if she goes. I need something better here for the, here we go. That should make turning it on and off a bit easier. Thumb switch. Well, here we got the whole slow boot situation. Now, truth be told, Earlier, I tried to see if I could clone this hard drive over to an SSD to see just how fast we could get this thing to go. But unfortunately, the file system was so old, Windows 10 doesn't recognize it. I wonder if I'd have clone software that'll work in Windows 98. I might. This is awesome that whatever this takes, it takes so long. ATI, this is, this is related to the video card drivers. It just reset. What are you doing? Ah, maybe this USB card's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Oh yes, it's always a good time when we see this prompt and it's telling us it's not gonna work. Here we go again. Try not to hang up on the drivers this time. All right, well clearly that USB 2.0 card is the problem here. What happens if we try shifting it? Let's inspect it for bad connections, first of all. Do I have an eraser? This is a trick an old pro taught me for cleaning the contacts on your interface cards. Just use a nice high quality white eraser. <laughs> I'll sandwich it up there next to friggin' buddy video card, but I'm not expecting the best. We're probably just gonna have to write that off. Aw, well, that means I can't use a wireless mouse. Aww. Yeah, like I'm actually gonna use this system when I'm done building it. Wow, we've made it even farther this time. It's jammed on scan disk. Screw scan disk, it's not important. Hmm. Yeah, I, <laughs> that USB card's a no-go. You know, we could always find drivers and get the other two USB ports going. That, and I probably have a few more of these USB cards that I can try. So, for the meantime, screw it. You got a crap! Now, I remember, when I had this system running, I played Command & Conquer, the original GDI campaign, from start to finish on it. Question is, did I do that in Windows 98, or did I do that in DOS? 
Maybe I did get some good playing in on DOS before I, uh, this hard drive died. So, Carmageddon, Interstate 76, Need for Speed, Doom, Shadow Warrior, Duke 3D, Command and Conquer, and that's what I have on here. Well, I can't help but wonder if, if let's, let's see if this works still. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah boy. Question is, did I, um, I'm gonna go piece of cake for now. Oh yeah, it looks like I did correct the uh, controls to uh, accommodate modern FPS gaming. Cause you didn't used to use this with keyboard and mouse. Ouch, oh boy. I can't aim up, but you didn't have to back then. You didn't have to reload either, eh? Oh wow, this is kind of disorienting. Well, that's half because I don't have a nice play surface here. I'm all crammed over here. The mouse sensitivity is crap. Oh, someone's trying to get me. Oh, did you see that? There is a reload. This game's not that old school. Okay, we were able to jump back then. Why do I vaguely remember being able to... Oh, there's a health. My health's bad right now. I vaguely remember being like... Oh, yeah. And then somewhere here was a secret room. Oh boy, there we go. He's behind me, isn't he? Cannot turn with this mouse. Okay, well, um, I'm not gonna get into a gaming session right now. Now let's see here. If I go to the network neighborhood, oh wow, that's, that's, that's big. Oh, I forgot to put in the crystals. Oh, come on, I totally plugged in the networking. Nope. Oh. oh. What happens if I run Firefox? Server not found. Clearly we're not on the network. Wireless? Did I have wireless on this? Like, I know I totally had this thing online. I just don't know how to check. That's actually an old version of Firefox. Watch like everything else, you have to restart it with the network attached or it doesn't work. Date and time issue? Nope. We just maybe have no network anymore. Not modern network anyway. That or let us restart because you know how these old systems are. You gotta restart before anything new works. Maybe that whole process, that error we had where it tried to connect to the network drive earlier is what screwed it all up and it just turned off the internet. Wow, it's taking a while to shut down. That's wonderful. Watch this network card's junk too. Why are you hammer jammed, bud? Fork and reset. Firefox can't securely connect because the protocol isn't enabled. Okay. We're online now. Yep. What happens if we try to load Facebook? You know what? There's no task manager in here. I have no way of finding out how hard the processors is running. This is painful. Just stop. Let's try the network. Oh, look at that. Oof, the security protocol is not compatible. Well, it doesn't look like I'm getting onto the NAS. Well, I think we've determined that this thing pretty much works. So before I start firing up games and having a little bit of fun, I guess we move on to the build.